So as I mentioned before, I'm going to be making a bunch of tutorials um, showing off some of the features of Character Creator 4 and iClone 8. Now the first one that I'm going to do uh, very quickly is uh, the facial uh, the facial profile editor um, as it's got some cool features that I've been waiting for for a while and they will save a bunch of time and make it a lot easier to do things like fixing eye blinks and putting in custom facial expressions or just making the, the expressions suit your character a little bit more. So this is a, an old character from a previous tutorial that we did. And the first thing that I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to bring on the new extended uh, facial morphs uh, profile. So that's going to have 140 morphs and just give it a lot more options for expressions and all that type of thing. And it's up to you whether you want to go that far with something, if you want to keep to the standard. It all depends on how detailed um, of a facial capture and animation you want to go. But for this one, I'm going to put that one on there. So um, with that selected, I am going to go to the facial, facial profile editor and I'm going to press edit expressions. So you should see now that this one tells you it's got the C4 extended and the 8 plus 7 vision pair for the um, for the mouth, uh, for the talking mouth shape. So um, first thing I want to do, this is the, the, the one thing that I have um, a lot of issues when I'm making custom characters, especially something like this where I've had to extend the eyes, it's got big eyes or completely morph the shape of them, is the blinks. So if we go to the blink morph, um, let's move that. Oh, we can talk about it in there for now. So if we go to the blink morph, you can see they're not blinking. It's not going in the way that we want it to go. So previously, what I would have to do is send this to 3D Exchange, and then in 3D Exchange, export out the morph for each eyelid, bring it to ZBrush, add, add the morph, bring it back, see if it looks okay, and then if it doesn't look back, go back and forth, and it was a bit long-winded. Whereas now they fixed that. So basically all we've got to do is we go to 100%. Now there's a few different ways of doing this. You can actually send it to GoZ, um, to, which I actually haven't tested out yet. But um, ideally you want to be able to do everything without going off the third party programs if you can. But um, I'm going to do this in the edit mesh tool. But you can also use the morphs or lots of different things to um, try and get this on. But I'm going to go through Edit Mesh. So if we go down to the Expression Tools and go to Edit Mesh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Vertex Select on Soft Selection. And I'm just going to select this eyelid. And just start moving it. So I'm just going to do this really, this is just for an example, so I'm not going to get too finessed with this, um, but it's just going to show how we can get this eyelid looking a little bit better. And again, not just the eyelid, this will work really well for the um, eyelashes. And that's one thing that I really had a problem with, trying to get the eyelashes to move into place. Because when you try to do anything like this, so like you edit the eyelid in Edit Mesh, and then alter the original, the original mesh. So like... Well, which I'll show you now, actually, what would what would happen originally. So, again, this is just a really rough way of getting the eye in place. We can smooth that up a little bit. Add a bit. I mean, for now, for the purposes of this video, that will be fine. So, if we get out of Edit Mesh. So, that's great. Now we've got a full closed eye. So if we go back to the edit expressions facial editor. Now, this is what would have happened originally. <clears throat> when you went back to the original mesh, it's adjusted the um, the original as well, so which is no good. 
she won't work. But now, if you press this button here, the quick update, and then if you go back, it brings back the original as it was and keeps that morph. And that that has just saved so much time uh, for fixing eye blinks and especially things like eyelashes and things like that is really cool. And what's even better is once you have that on there, if you press the mirror expression data, I had it working now on the right eye. Whereas before I've had to bring that into ZBrush and kind of guess what what I did with the other one and I can never get it quite matching up exactly um, if I wanted it mirrored. So absolutely fantastic feature. Um, <clears throat> the other one that's really cool as well, uh, which I've had issues with, with characters with stylized star, uh, types of faces is when the mouth opens or the jaw opens you get like the jaw um <clears throat> like kind of tucking into the head and like moving inwards a little bit more and now what you can do is you can actually adjust the bones so if we go to the where are we we go to proportions and if we select the jawbone, we can now adjust the jawbone for this one. I'm going to exaggerate this, but say we want his jaw to jut out when he opens his mouth, because that's what the style is. Um, and then we want the teeth to be in a better position. So if that's how we like it, we go back out of that mode. Maybe uh, we come out of proportions mode. Now, if we do the same thing, we press this quick update. And now the jaw will move to the position that you want. And you can go in completely and change all the different um, expressions to get a more stylized character like make it look more like you want it to look so if you want to go mouth smile and we wanted to go to edit mesh and you know we want to puff his cheeks out more when he smiles and we want to change the, the complete shape of that smile for whatever reason again this is just an example of how it can be done and then we update And then let's mirror that one. And I just saw an option which I haven't seen yet. So this, I'm going to have a quick look at what that means, where it says split part. So again, let's just move this so it's noticeable. Okay, we want his mouth to go down there for some reason. And then we go to Okay, so we update that. I'm gonna see what happens if we press split part. Ah no, so I'm I'm guessing that one will be is you could probably turn on both the let's go back actually let's do it frown so if turn frown on and that frown on do edit mesh i haven't actually tested this one out but we'll give it a go on here now and see what it does so let's make this one a bit more exaggerated 
and we will go update we'll do split part and I would guess what this will do is bend more for each side yeah so you don't have to mirror it and just does it <clears throat> so you can actually make the expression which is really cool as well so I hope that helps um, I just wanted to share that with you because it's a great time saver it's a great feature and um, it's going to really help with uh, creating some proper expressions for custom characters.